What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me on this Fuji Friday. Today we're gonna discuss a Fuji sleeper feature that's in your X-T5 and actually many other Fuji cameras too. But before we get started, don't forget to visit my sponsors linked in the description below. Check out my gear page at B&H and also download my free PDF for some awesome portrait tips while you are there. Now hidden in the second page of the shooting menu on the X-T5, you will find a sleeper feature that I recently discovered and want to share with you today. It is the in-camera digital teleconverter. Click into this menu and you can choose a 1.4 times or a two times crop factor to apply to your JPEG images right in the camera. This means that if you're using a 50 millimeter lens, for example, you can effectively make it into a 70 millimeter or a 100 millimeter by using the 1.4 or 2X crop. But you will pay a price for the ability to double your focal length in camera and it will cost you resolution. Now the manual in your Fuji camera says image quality may drop when the digital converter is used, although they don't give you a specific number. The camera itself, however, tells us what to expect in resolution and here's how. First, make sure you're shooting in raw plus fine JPEG for a number of reasons. Number one, having a backup raw file is always good practice in case you want to refine any of the JPEGs you shoot with the digital teleconverter enabled. Number two, the digital teleconverter only affects JPEG files, so even when you enable this feature, your raw files will not be cropped. And number three, for some strange reason, the camera doesn't default to JPEG when you choose the digital teleconverter, so you need to manually select raw plus fine JPEG in the menu before you use the converter. Before we talk about why this is a sleeper feature that you definitely want to try, let's figure out approximate file sizes so that you know what you can expect if you use the digital converter. Now, you'll notice that when you choose the 1.4X option, your camera will automatically move to medium quality JPEGs. And a medium quality JPEG file, according to the X-T5 instruction manual, is 4864 by 3648 pixels or 17.74 megapixels. If you switch to the 2X converter, you'll notice that the camera automatically defaults to a small JPEG file size, which again, according to the manual, is 3456 by 2592 or 8.96 megapixels. So by using the 1.4 teleconverter, your camera effectively becomes a 17 megapixel camera. And by using the 2X converter, it effectively becomes a nine megapixel camera. And it's important to realize that a digital teleconverter is not really a teleconverter at all in a traditional sense, but more accurately should be described as an in-camera crop feature. Question at this point is clearly, why would you wanna do this and use this feature since we're losing so much of the resolution and we also have the ability to crop and post anyway? That's a great question. Is there any advantage to it? Well, my answer would be a resounding yes. And here's my four reasons why. Number one, it's an awesome composition hack. Now, the best thing about the digital teleconverter is that it magnifies the image in the camera's EVF and on the LCD screen. So you are seeing in real time the cropped image, meaning you're seeing the final result. This also means that when you're in a situation where your lens focal length is just not cutting it and you intend on cropping in post anyway, you can enable the 1.4 or the 2X converter and compose your images much more confidently than just trying to imagine what the eventual crop will look like. And we've all been in that situation before. And I know that for me personally, trying to imagine what it's gonna look like after I crop it, when I get back to my computer, never really works well for me. So here's an example I had recently. I was shooting a musical theater rehearsal and testing out the new Viltrox 75 1.2 lens. And there were times where I wanted to get just a bit closer to my subjects, but I couldn't physically move any closer to where they were. Now, this is the perfect situation to use the digital teleconverter because then I can accurately see the right framing of what my images are gonna look like in camera and compose with a lot more confidence and fun than if I were to just crop in later on. And since all I needed for this particular situation were some really nice JPEGs for online use, there was really no downside to doing it this way as opposed to the other way, but more on that later. Number two, 
it makes fast lenses into fast telephoto lenses. So the second reason I think that this is such a cool feature is because it effectively takes a mid-range zoom, like the aforementioned Viltrox 75 millimeter, which is lightning fast at f1.2, and it turns it into a 150 millimeter 1.2 JPEG shooting machine. And this means that the lens has now become a 225 f1.2 in full frame terms. And that's an awesome lens. And now a smallish lens like the Viltrox, it's not small, but it's small enough to be a sort of compact sports and nature lens. And more importantly, small enough to get into stadiums without looking like a monster telephoto lens and being rejected at the door. And I think this is super cool. Number three, the third reason you should try the digital teleconverter is because the quality is going to be about the same as if you shoot in RAW and apply the crop and export to JPEG in post. Now check out this photo of Optimus Prime that I took in my office. I took one photo here so that I could compare the 2X cropped JPEG with a RAW file that I manually cropped the exact same dimensions Fuji gives for a small JPEG in post. Now to my eye, there really is little to no difference between the sharpness and quality of the photos. And there's actually one distinct advantage to using the JPEG file in this situation. And it's that it's already been processed by the camera. So the exposure, the color and everything is tweaked. Unlike my raw file, which I did nothing to other than apply the crop. So if you're just blasting out JPEGs for online use, Using the digital teleconverter really works just as well as cropping it in post, and in some ways it's a little better. Number four, you're gonna convert and crop anyway. So the final reason you should give this sleeper feature a try is because you are most likely going to convert your images into JPEGs anyway, and you're most likely going to crop them too. In fact, the beauty and this is the real beauty of the 40 megapixel sensor, is that you can crop a lot and still get awesome results. And the camera is gonna do all of the annoying post-processing for you instead of importing a ton of raw files and then having to manually crop and edit each one, which I, for one, don't like to do. So for me, I know I'm gonna give this a try at my son's baseball games, and it will be an easy way to blast out awesome looking JPEGs to all of his teammates without having to go to my computer, edit and crop each one and manually email them. I can just send them right away from my camera, assuming that the app works on that day, of course. And once you apply your favorite film sims to this mix, you can see how a feature which looks at first like a silly gimmick actually has some very cool uses and solid applications. So my suggestion is to go ahead and give it a try, especially if you're using a 40 megapixel beast and you intend on cropping and converting to JPEGs in post anyway. There's really no downside to trying this out, especially when you have a backup raw file, just in case. All right, everyone. Well, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you think about this video and about Fujifilm's digital teleconverter feature. Have you ever tried it? Do you have any tips on using it? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I recently broke 5,000 subscribers and you guys are just awesome. And I really am overwhelmed by the support I'm getting on the channel. My next goal is to get to 10K. So please help me get there. The more people who subscribe, the more of these kind of videos I can do. Now, here's wishing you an amazing day. Go out and take some awesome photos, everyone. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.